Hello friends. Today I'm going to teach you first dot last dot in basis. So I'll tell you how you can use the first dot last dot concept, and I will also tell you that in what situations you can use this logic. So first dot last dot is basically very useful when you are going to get a count of your uh, data set observations on a particular grouping. So now suppose you have the employee ID, their salaries, and um, the salaries can be for multiple months, and you want to identify that which one is the highest salary for each employee, right? So this is one case. Apart from that, you can get the count of the duplicate observation. You can figure out that what observations are duplicate, what are the unique keys. So such kind of things can be done very easily with the help of first dot last dot. So to, uh, I'm taking a basic uh, logic behind this and it's a basic example so first of all i'll create a data set which will have the employee id and the ages so okay so we are going to create a data set data emp so these things how to create a data set we have discussed in earlier class also so now we need to create uh, two variables here so i'll write input the employee id so i'll take id and the another variable, I'll take age. Both of these are numeric, so we are not writing any dollar here. Then cards and then employee ID. So at different point of time, a, a customer can have a different ID, sorry, different age. So suppose this has the age 50 now, so after one year it can be 51. So I'll take, it, I'll take different ages. Uh, 45, 4, 56, 58, something like this. So this will create, my, if I execute this code, this will create my data set EMP, which will have the ID and age as variables and their values. Now, let's create this data set and let's take a look. If data set has been created, yes, data set has been created. If I double click on this, okay, so what's the problem? Because there is no variable. So let's take a look. Because we have a semicolon missing. So we need we need to write the semicolon here. That's the reason that there was there were no um, values inside the now you can see that we have the values. All right. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to start working on the uh, first dot last dot logic. Very important thing while you are working on the first dot last dot. First of all, you have to figure out that on what key you want to apply this operation. <clears throat> so suppose uh, I want to figure out that what is the maximum <clears throat> age for each employee ID. So that means the grouping on which I'm doing is the employee ID because on employee ID I'm doing the grouping, right? So the variable on which you want to do the grouping you need to make sure that your data set is sorted by that key so first of all what we will do here first of all we'll sort out our data set so we will use the proc sort proc sort then you have to tell what data set you want to sort i'm going to set sort my emp data set you have to write by which key so why id i want to sort it out and then run now it will sort your data set emp okay so here, if you execute this program, now your data set will be sorted by ID. So you can see all of the IDs are in sequence and in increasing order. The next step will be, you have to create a new data set. Suppose uh, EMP underscore temp. And here, And here, what I'll do, I'll set my data set EMP. Another important thing here, when you are going to set your data set, you need to make sure you mention the key as well. So your grouping key is ID. So you'll write by ID. So two important things. First is your data set should be sorted by your key, which is your ID, which has been used for the grouping purpose. Then when you set this data set in another data set, you have to mention that by id it should put the values then you will write the run now if i execute this data set what will happen in the uh, back end 
by default when uh, inside the emp underscore temp it will create two automatic variables which is first dot id and last dot id so this is if your data set is sorted by your uh, a particular id or like particular key and then when you set that data set inside another data set by mentioning that key by default ses will create the first dot and first dot id because why first dot id because your grouping variable is your id and then last dot id it will create these two variables in the backend now if i want to check if it if it has created those variables or not what we can do we can create some uh, temporary variables like t underscore f that means temporary first dot id equals to i want to keep it here first dot id i know that when i said these things ses has created first dot id in the backend this variable has been created so now to test this thing if ses has already done this thing or not i created a new variable and put the value of first dot id here the similar way i'll create another variable t underscore l which will keep the value of last dot id and now if i execute this okay i'll do one more thing that i will print this data set so that i do not have to click on this employee underscore temp and then it will open the data set so i'll write here tmp underscore tmp and run so it will print the output on the screen as well so now if i execute this you can see yes first dot id and last dot id has been created that's the reason that we have we can get the values here so now i am going to explain you the concept of first dot and last dot very important things so uh, here you can see that what uh, i'm going to tell you how first dot and last dot works here so this is the id 1 for id 1 this is the age 50 so what will happen it will check that this is the first time when id 1 is appearing yes if it yes the first dot id variable will be 1 if this one is appearing the last time no why because we have one uh, another one as well so that's the reason this is not the last so you will get the zero now when you come to the next observation it will ask again the same thing if this one id is appearing first time no it is not appearing first time because it has appeared earlier as well so that's the reason that we put the value of first dot id here one now is it appearing the last time yes it's appearing the last time because after this you will not get any one here right so that's the reason that last dot id is one now for this two is it appearing the first time yes because two has not appeared earlier right is it appearing the last time no because we have one more two so now when you come on this right you will see that here it it's appearing the first time no it's appearing the last time yes and similar in a similar way we can see that for 3 and 4 we have also values what will happen if the value if the id appears only once like suppose we will update this example and we'll write the id here and some value we can give there if i execute this program here so 5 is appearing only once so it will ask if this is appearing first time yes is it appearing the last time as well yes so in this case both values will be one right otherwise the values will be depending on the appearance now if i ask you that can you give me the distinct ids so how you can figure out with the help of first dot last dot id uh, that what are the values which are distinct so when the first dot id that means when first dot id equals to 1 those are the observations which have the unique ids right or you can say that when last dot id equals to 1 those are the observation which have the unique so what now if i ask you that give me the unique ids what you can do here you can add a condition if first or you can say t underscore f because we have stored it somewhere right right so you can say if t underscore f equals to 1 take only those values right if you execute this program now you will see that unique id is appearing here 1 2 3 4 5 right 
in a similar way if you add a condition like if t underscore l equals to 1 it will also give you the same output 1 2 3 like the age will be different but the the basic logic was here that we want a unique id so that is working here right now i'll tell you that what else you can do here so here you can see that uh, you can figure out the unique values of the id you can figure out the basically you can figure out the uh, apart from that you can also figure out the duplicates as well in case if there are duplicates so what will be the duplicates where this first dot id will not be equals to uh, one those will be the cases of duplication right so such kind of things can be done very easily now i'm going to you tell you that how you can figure out that how many uh, observations we have for id 1 how many observations we have for id 2 how many observations we have for id 3 and 4 and 5 you want want a count here so what you can do here how can you get the count when id is appearing first time create a new variable right so let's create a new variable here suppose new variable is here so now if id is appearing first time the counter should have a value 1 now if id is appearing id 1 is appearing uh, second time so the counter value should be 2 in case of 2 again the counter value should be 1 in case of second 2 it should be 2 in case of 3 and 4 and 5 right so we are going to add more uh, 4 here sorry 4 here so that uh, you can see the difference as well all right so now we will create a counter so what condition we will keep here if first dot id equals to 1 then what it need to do then cnt equals to will take counter cnt equals to 1 else what should it do else it should do cnt plus 1 right so in case if it's first dot id it should write cnt equals to 1 in case if uh, it's not first dot id just add one more in cnt so you can see that for every one we have a counter i can remove this because these are not, not now you can understand the logic so these are not useful we can directly use the first dot last dot those were those variables i have created just to make you make you sure that you can understand the logic behind this now as you know the logic so i'm going to remove this and in practical way you will use the things like this like if first dot id equals to 1 then count equals to 1 else count plus 1 so now if you execute this program you can see here so here you can see that uh, if this id was appearing first time so count was 1 this, this is appearing second time so 2 so we have here 2 now in this case of uh, this employee id 4 this is appearing first so counter is 1 this is appearing twice counter is 2 and this is appearing twice so counter is 3 so this way you can get the counting as well now if you want to take out the counting of uh, the id that how many times the id 1 is appearing how many times the id 2 is appearing so what logic you can do do you know that the last the last uh, value that means last dot id will give you the count so what you can do first of all do it line by line so if you add if last dot id equals to 1 that will give you this condition will give you the output if this condition is getting true so if you execute this program you can see that uh, you get this count for the last uh, last dot id now you do not want the age so you can drop the age you just need the id and the count so what you can do here you can write drop age so this will drop the age here now you have the ids and their counting respected counting so it's very easy right this way you can create your counting and uh, in the next class i'll tell you that how this can be used for uh, multiple variables as well so if you want to use it for uh, two variables so let me tell you like how you can do that now so what you can do if you want to apply first dot last dot on two variables you can mention those variables here like i want to apply it on id and age both 
so by id and age i'll write here and then here also i'll set by id and age and here you can write if first dot id and uh, last so basically it will create four variables first if you are using two like here if id and age so it will create first dot id last dot id it will create first dot age last dot age and here also you will set by first id and age so this you can try at home and let me know if you have any doubt on this but this is sort of your homework so you need to try this thing at home, at home and you need to uh, tell me that if you like my video subscribe my channel and provide me the uh, updates what else you want to learn i'll upload the videos accordingly thank you guys for watching this have a nice day bye